it's a way of living it's a way of thinking and so on that's what they say because because um religion in the in the sense of how it is understood in christianity does not fit the description of what hinduism is for example it's different i just think that religion uh could be used as this overarching uh term for um you know a collective system of beliefs or of a, a way of thinking and feeling um where humans try to have an explanation for uh for nature and everything that is beyond nature um and here uh, let me challenge you for one second of, here uh, go ahead if judaism thought that the religion explained nature why are you so good with the science why are, why are jews what so good with science oh because 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 when i'm when i say uh explaining nature so that, that doesn't that doesn't necessarily um exclude you know a pursuit to understand uh nature and how it exactly functions further and in more detail or in a better way it just explains the the nature of nature and where it comes from and what its uh what its origin is and what its purpose is and what lies beyond it and so on so by nature when i say um a, a pursuit to or an explanation for nature uh i'm i'm what i'm what i'm thinking about is um so religion is considered an explanation of the natural world and what is beyond it or what is uh at the core of it um mm, however you could still Judaism, understand you could you could you could understand that, that uh, would like make judaism not a religion then at all almost by... okay but judaism still does uh does have the genesis for example where, which explains why everything exists or why the world exists or how it came into being so it is mm. that aspect that i would say uh is is the is, it's, is, it's is not taken literally religion. though it doesn't think it it doesn't like most jews even religious ones don't believe it really happened that way it just believes it's a way to um uh, teach valuable lessons to humanity in a way that they can derive from those stories not necessarily that it is true in that sense it just explains human nature in a way that humanity can understand it or yeah but uh, but rabbinic Ju judaism does think does does um still hold that uh that at the core of things right now in this life is that is that god um actually um for different reasons created this world from a different condition and that this is why things are the way they are although there is of course much more to it which you explore in life but uh but there is still this whole jewish belief that god created it and we don't even have to talk about so exactly i would say the most important part in the historic creation is that god declares it's good this is maybe should be the focus it's the thought that the creation is good is the god it's like and we see it was it was good and it's like it's the thought that the everything that was created is it has like the, it's good. It's good that ex it exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the 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 orthodox the the rabbinic uh, perspective is still that um, that the way the this is actually very interesting because their their view is I think the Talmudic view is that that the Bible um, that the initial beginning of the Bible would normally be another phrase that is not currently the beginning of the bible which would be that this is the first day or something like that one of those verses however they do th uh think that the beginning of genesis where in the beginning there was god and you know the whole, the, the creation aspect that this is literally what did happen that god literally did create um the world as it is into being from mm -hmm. uh whatever was there before so this this is the traditional orthodox rabbinic the Talmud view. is not necessarily the traditional uh, rabbinic thought. Actually, it doesn't this really work. That it it it's not it's not that it's Judaism. I know. I also know, like for example, the way like my uh, I, so my the famous rabbi that is my great great blah 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 grandpa is the genius from Vilna. 
He was a mathematician and physician as well as a super famous Judaic like mm -hmm. rabbi. And big, like and and so I can say that even he and every rabbi of Judaism came against a lot of things that were uh, mostly accepted inside of Judaism. It's not that straightforward. I just want to put that point where a uh, saying that would actually no, because I can tell you that it actually, uh, that currently that wouldn't like that is probably even if the Talmud thought so and the Talmud brought a lot of medical knowledge as it was known at the time and everybody understand that this is their understanding at the time and it has nothing to do with real like science it's just how they understood it back then and it's put in that perspective yeah 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 so like i understand but i wouldn't like just like it's it's a thing to f like i wouldn't go through that to yeah try to. so from my understanding it is still um it is still a traditional uh Orthodox Jewish view that um, at least the part where God creates the world, where um, there is God and then God creates what is, is um, is taken as a fact, and then the Genesis story is vastly literal and also metaphorical in order to teach different things. But but at the core, at least that God created is is believed as a fact. Right. And and that only is what I mean when I say that um, that religion is um, a way of understanding nature, just to, for example, explain that uh, in essence God created would be to me an attempt mm. to explain nature. You know? No, no, it's not. It's not. It it's is so. To me. So, so Judaism doesn't think that way. Judaism thinks what's the purpose by saying God created. It means that there is something good this is this the, what that's what i said like weight of this is where the focus is like it saw that it's good and this is why we should appreciate what we have and the earth and people around us because it's a creation that god said is good not in a sense it's not in a natural sense or a scientific sense but in a sense that it's good it's important okay, it's she, valuable she, 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 Here's the thing. So here's what I what I mean. Um, let's say two people from completely different backgrounds um, in a primitive environment come together. Um, they look around. They just woke up in this empty world. They look around themselves. They see mountains, trees, all kinds of different things. And um, they have no idea what, what happened. One of them has an idea. And the other goes to him and asks him, what is all this? And one of them says, one of them is not is not uh, in agreement with Judaism. He says, I have no idea what all of this is. The other person says, in the beginning there was God, God created. And then from there it develops. But there is a difference between these two people. One of them says, I have no idea. I will try, I will, I will try to find out what happened. The other person says, God created simply just by making that statement by saying God created or in the beginning there was God and God created that person has attempted to make an uh, to have an understanding of um, an explanation for the things around them mm, and so that to me is what religion uh, is is the core of religion it's not it so okay so I'm gonna say it in a different way so I saw this beautiful um, explanation of Jewish thinking versus Greek Hellenistic thinking and it's like, what is Greek thinking? If you have a bottle in front of you, Greek, like logical uh, Hellenistic thinking, they would start, this, like if they ask, hey, describe what's in front of you. They would say, oh, it's, it's this and that uh, centimeters in height. This is the volume. This is the color. This is the material the bottle is made of. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if you ask a Jew, a Jewish person, like Jewish thinking, Jewish thinking would say, oh, it's a tool to, uh, uh, that you use so that to hold water. Yeah. So the creation it means like there is purpose. It's not. Mm -hmm. There was a green toast like you know like this is the bottle and this. Is, 
No, there is purpose. Yeah. But I think we there is we, purpose we to life. There is purpose to everything. But I think we actually agree with uh in in essence, um we just have a different way of looking at it right now. But in essence I agree with what you said. And I think you also kind of agree with what I said. I but yes. But the thing is like that a lot of even rabbis reach the point where they say it's the the belief that there is purpose that is important and not if there is yeah. or isn't. I heard that from a rabbi. I did. Yeah. So example. so when you say that you understand that it's not it doesn't come from the scientific standpoint. It doesn't come from to try to understand how the uh, green bottle of earth was uh, put into its place. It to say there is a mm -hmm. purpose. There is a mm -hmm. purpose and it's good. And it's good. And that's your then that's the mentality. That's the thing, like you grow up thinking, it's good, there is a purpose. I'm here mm -hmm. and I, like, this is the fundamental enjoy life, love life. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm glad we could agree, agree on that. Good. I love, I'm gonna put this comment, which I means I'm gonna skip a little bit because I skipped all the, but I want to, to, to show, wait, I'm gonna. Because uh, the 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 one uh, this one uh, super chat before I, we go I go back and I'll go back to all of that. Uh, Saramji, uh, Rebecca, I love you, but you're wrong. Ultra Orthodox 100% believe the story of creation in literature. I grew up Hasidic. Hasidics do, Hasidics do, and my great 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 uncle called the Gaon Filmila hated Hasidics with all his heart because of that thinking. Sorry. <laughs> And he was a very respectable rabbi Jew that is famous for like, uh, like in all uh, aspects. And this is exactly the reason like he, I, I, I cannot describe how much he didn't dis like disliked the Hasidic thinking. But that's it, just like, like uh, my, my personal family, like, uh, you know, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but like, yeah, yeah. That's like my per so, that's like personal because that's my fa like the, my family line of Judaism that really like disagrees with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, it was a, it was a little bit misunderstood what you said, um, but what what you said is that of course there are there are um, those in Judaism who think it is literal, but that is not the general view that i think that's it's, that's pretty much what you were saying so um, you weren't saying that jews in general don't believe no i wouldn't that, say that it's it, i wouldn't yeah. i would also say that even trying to there are a lot of things that um some jews would just wouldn't want to go into like what is mm -hmm. god but like depends on the type of judaism because even like trying to describe god is actually creating an image of god And even saying God wants this or God wants that is using God's names in vain. B but like, oh, something. So it's, this is like... <laughs> um, it's more... Com like it's not that straightforward and this is why i say like it's mm -hmm. the purpose that matters is the fact that there is purpose there's like the creation says like there is purpose there is it, it's good it's good that it was created it's good that there is ocean it's good that there is earth it's good that there are animals it's good that there are people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nice which is very funny nice. but like i don't know how we got there because i just wanted to hear your view on religion in general yeah. <laughs> but, but then it said things about Buddhism, like Mm, that's that's my <laughs> that's my territory. <laughs> <laughs>